Hi, David with Guide Recommended. Today I'm going to do one of those box openings. I ordered um, what I'm hoping, hoping is the ultimate nymphing rod. So a drift fly rod from TFO. So a temple fork drift fly rod. But before we get into this, my son was saying, hey dad, what's with the hat? Why don't you, why don't you wear a baseball hat or, you know, something just go without a hat, It makes shadows in your videos. And I thought, you know, I should explain. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little bit deficit in the hair end. So anyhow, let's get into opening up this box. Here it is. Have not even cracked this baby open. I was gonna get the, you know, the chainsaw and rip it open, but I think we're just gonna go with the standard uh, packing, unpacking technique here so the temp the temple ooh sweet so the temple fork comes in this rectangular case um, hoping you can see that we'll get into some close ups here in a second but uh this is nice. Nice handle. Looks like oops, both ends open up. Here's my extra butt section for uh, the micro spay. Let's get this going. Nice sock. Tupple fork sock. heavy kind of a uh, felt material a lot heavier than what we usually or I usually get or see um, butt section again we'll get into some close-ups here in a minute first section oh what is it shorty there The uh, cool thing about the Temple Fork is it is adjustable. So it's built to take the line on and off to transform from a 9 foot rod all the way up to a 12 foot 3 inch rod. So there it is. Um, well, that's interesting. It's a down locking reel seat, which makes sense. If you, you know, you think about nymph rods, you want to somewhat get the weight down towards the end of the re or end of the rod in order to get that balance, right? So it actually has a counterweighted end cap, so you can screw this on and off. Um, for just a regular nine foot dry fly rod, you could take that completely off or going into your European nymphing styles, you can put that counterweight on. So there it is, the Temple Fork Drift. Um, let's get into some close-ups. I'll show you some kind of, of the nice details on this, okay? All right, so if you can, be sure to like and thumbs up, guide recommended. Um, subscribe. I'm really trying to grow this channel, provide some helpful uh, information on fly fishing. All right, so let's get into the review of this. Um, what I find really unique is the rod case. Um, heavy aluminum body. It's got a nice uh, a kind of rubberized grip here. Um, TFO logo on the side both ends can be opened so you get some stuff down in there you know you're able to actually get it out a very solid latch Let's see if i can get that there um cushioned end uh, kind of a tongue and groove seal around it i don't think it's waterproof i don't think it needs to be um it's not padded in there but with your rod in the actual rod sock or uh 
carrier, you really don't need that. So kind of a unique thing, kind of a, a briefcase kind of setup. All right, so that's the rod case. Next, let's dig into the base section. Um, hope you can see it here. It's got some nice gold, gold uh, markings. So TFO drift, uh, model number, and then you can see it there. Let me get you in focus. Um, three weight, nine foot, six piece. Six piece is that interesting thing. It kind of makes it confusing when you're when we're talking about this. So the nine foot is actually going to be a four piece rod. So um, let's dig into the real seat. The, uh, it is a down locking reel seat. Really unique feature on this. I, I haven't seen this, but it actually has this line that kind of shows you where to put the reel. So you're not, you know, confused looking for the little, the little slot. So center line there for the slot. Um, put that guy on. I think this is going to be the reel I plan on using. It is a uh, mid arbor. What's a mid arbor? You're probably going to ask. So it's uh, you can see it's not huge, you know, large arbor where it would be a lot bigger arbor in that center, but a mid arbor. So it's going to give me some room for a um, little bit of backing. Uh, I think with this nymphing type of setup, I'm going to run mostly a running line, um, weight forward lines, and other. Uh, dry fly type lines um, are going to have a lot of sag, so we're tight, tight lining is what we're going to be doing. So there is the reel, that is the reel seat with that unique um, line on there. Like I said, that's, that's a really nice feature, I really like that. Very smooth action, I like the satin kind of look of this. It also has a removable counterweight, so this guy comes off. So if I wanted to fish this rod as a uh, nine foot three weight, you know, a dry fly, I would take that section off, right? So I don't get too much wrist action. Um, that that weight kind of helps counterbalance. So I would I would fish it this way. Um, something we'll t talk about here coming up is going to be the uh, micro spay handle. All right, let's get back into the next next parts of this this rod. Let's do this on real quick. Um, here you can see the hook keeper, um, also the uh, rubberized cork at the tip, I like that, um, helps with wear. Still got the plastic on the handle, so that's, that's nice. Alright, next section. It's kind of a weird thing to say next section. Oh, you know, something we want to look at here is our alignment dots. It does have alignment dots. Um, the weird thing about this, okay, is because the base section is where all the flexibility comes from, you actually can, you know, can I add things to it. So again, your alignment dots. Putting rod sections together, I think probably a lot of people know this, but put it together and then kind of a quarter turn and you'll actually feel the blank kind of lock together. Um, good technique to learn. Although they feel, rods feel completely round, just in the, the, the manufacturing process, there's actually a, a spine to a rod blank, um, and that, that spine is what helps lock them together. So there's a close-up of our, um, our dots. Another really cool feature, this is that flexibility that comes into this rod, are the stripping guides. See that there? So it allows you to, um, I got a little section of fly line. It allows you to add or subtract sections of rod without unstringing the whole whole deal. So say I'm in a little little creek, not much room for casting. I could fish this in the, the tight lining techniques as a nine foot. Or say I want to reach over to where you know some brush-covered um, uh, 
bushes and stuff are, um, I can add that extra section into this from the base section and, and reach over to another part of that river. Neat, neat. Um, let's kind of take a look at the, the finish on the guides. So the wrappings, it's a dark green, kind of a, an olive kind of base color. And then something I really like, and actually I do when I build rods, um, put the finish right down onto the rod blank. Uh, that kind of seals off those threads so you don't have to worry about water expansion. Another thing that isn't necessary on most of the new rods, um, wrapping on the uh, but you know the sections right so where each section comes together most of the rods rods are internally reinforced but added added measure um, they've added wrappings on those sections okay so there's the butt section in the first section um, next thing to probably touch on is this one foot section right it has that unique uh, I think it's actually getting patented. Um, flexible guide, right? So you can add this one foot section on, quickly um, take your, you know, change the length without, you know, cutting all the terminal tackle off your line, off the leaders and flies and all that good stuff. So that's the one foot section. The next section, you know, it's tough to call it a next section, is, I'm thinking this is, um, hold on, let me look. It's, uh, I got a note here, 27 inches, so 27 inches from end to end. Um, so you can add this guy onto your one foot section, right, maybe that quarter turn. Put those guys together and now you've got you know that much more length you can add onto the rod right all right so now we're kind of getting into the typical things typical sections but something i want to show you is how the running guides are our single foot guides so the idea is reduce weight right plus sensitivity in a rod um there's an opinion out there and i guess it makes sense that with a single foot guide, you're not spreading, you know, that flat spot that can come. So um, the thought is a single foot, less weight, less glue, less metal, um, it's gonna make it lighter, along with you've only got a small section of the rod that you're kind of stiffening, so it takes away those flat spots they talk about. All right, the tip section. Um, I was playing with this earlier. But you're going to see, which is kind of cool, a lot of rod tips, you'll see, you know, I'm going to force it here, right? You'll see it actually have a curve that looks like that, right? The drift has more of a, a gentle arc. And the idea of that is to, to get that sensitivity, right? The, the flex, the tip flex, right, for, um, you know, stopping you from breaking a tippet is uh, kind of built into a little bit larger section. Um, tight lining techniques, you want to have a lot of sensitivity, right? So having that, um, I guess, gentle arc um, in that tip section, really what it is actually a stiffer uh, graphite material in that, in that taper, um, is going to transfer that sensitivity into into your hand right so there's that um, let's look at the sock real quick kind of unique is it's a it's almost like a wool um, heavier heavier than a lot of the socks that I've seen uh, a very a soft material again marked with uh, TFO's tag um, typical you know uh, slots well not exactly typical it's got a lot of slots right one two three four five six so six sections um, all right let's play with the again 
take this off. Let's scoot that guy in. Again, you can see how you can get into the micro spay type of things that you know for uh, streamers that's becoming popular so um with a another spool for the same reel i'll be able to set this rod up for some streamer fishing um which should be pretty cool having one one rod with all this flexibility so as you know i do a lot of kind of kayak fishing kayak and canoe um, and having less rods in the boat it's a little bit better right i don't have to worry about breaking things and um, can pack a little bit lighter so again it's a tfo drift 